Greetings, knowledge seekers, the force is with you. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the Zoom R20 digital multi-track recorder and how it's a perfect little companion for the live streaming DJ. But first, a word from our sponsor, Direct Music Service. DMS is an online database where DJs can get their music from. There's thousands of unique edits, remixes, and originals that you can choose from of your favorite tracks that you can use to rock your next dance floor. They also have an app that you can use on your mobile device where you can browse their database and then save songs so that it appears on your Dropbox when you get home. I'm gonna leave you two discount links down below in the pinned comment if you want to subscribe. Go to directmusicservice.com today to sign up. All right, so multi-track recorders, digital multi-track recorders have been around for a while. In fact, they've been around longer than a lot of your favorite DAWs. They were basically an evolution of the cassette Porta Studio and they were popular in the late 90s to early 2000s when computer power just wasn't enough to be able to do the type of tracking that you wanted to do when recording. Now, as computers got more powerful, the popularity of multi-track recorders kind of dwindled and were sort of kind of replaced by the audio interface, which allows you to multi-track record into a computer. However, there's still a value to having a standalone multi-track recorder that's capable of doing all the things that your computer doll can do and be able to do it without the laptop. And the R20 really hit that with the intuitive design that's easy to use with a touch display that's easy to navigate. How easy is it exactly? Well, I've never used it before, but I knew where everything was. The reason why I did is because I already know how to use the H8 portable multi-track recorder, which is basically a field recorder that records multiple tracks. And Zoom does a great job of making all their devices so streamlined that if you know how to use one, you somewhat know how to use the other. And in a nutshell, the R20 is a 16-track multi-track recorder with eight individual inputs. Two of them are Combo XLR TRS, with one of them with a high z input for your guitar, and then you have six XLR inputs on the others. You got two pairs of 48 volt phantom power if you need to run a condenser mic. That's eight inputs you can record simultaneously, more than enough for a full drum set. Now that's the multi-track interface mode, but you can switch it to audio interface mode, which can either give you two stereo inputs going into the computer or eight individual inputs going into the computer and you can use it with your favorite DAW. So here's one thing to take away from that. For under $400, you have an eight input USB type C interface, which by the way, can also multi-track record standalone without the computer. And just to show you how easy this thing is to use, I'm gonna restart it. So here on the projects menu, if you were to use this as an audio interface, you can switch it to either stereo mix, which just gives you the left and the right, the overall mix, or you can go multi-track, which allows you to put all your multi-track inputs into the computer and pull them up individually. Now let's go back to the projects mode, which is what allows you to record this in standalone. Let's start a new project, and I'm gonna show you what I did to be able to record my live stream while I'm live streaming. Now the output of this is actually going to my other mixer which is connected to my computer via interface. So everything this outputs can be streamed. So I'm gonna set this up. I have on channel one and two is the output from my SB3 and I'm gonna arm channel one, channel two and channel three which is my microphone. I'm gonna click channel one and I'm going to set this for a stereo link, which will link channel one and two as a pair. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna set the limiter, set this to minus 10. There's an input dynamics here. You can either keep that off, have it set to compressor, limiter, or noise gate. Now, I wish this was actually a chain where I had noise gate, compressor and limiter, and I could control each one, but it only lets you pick one or have them off. 
if you're an ATEM Mini user, you're familiar with having all the controls of having a chain of your compressor, limiter, noise gate, and EQ. So now I'm going to back out of here, and then I'm going to click channel 3. And I'm also going to set that to a compressor, and let's just set it to minus 12. So I have a compressor on my mic, and I have a limiter on my DJ audio. That helps give me more room to be able to crank the volume a little bit when I'm going into OBS. So let's try this out. One time you're live right now on my stream. Big shout out to Alex from Tokyo. Thank you for the 100 bits. Amanda, all the way from Singapore. Shout out to you. Thank you for the bits. Now, right now I'm using it like a mixer, which gives me dynamics for my audio and a compressor on my mic so that I can go louder without clipping. But where's the advantage for the streamer? So right now I have the output going into OBS and everything you hear right now is what you would hear on a stream. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit record and we're gonna record a pass as if I was live streaming. One time you're live right now on my stream. Big shout out to Alex from Tokyo. Thank you for the 100 bits. Amanda, all the way from Singapore. Shout out to you. Thank you for the bits. Oh, we got a live, we got a hype train going on right now. Level one hype train. Oh, well, we're gonna make it to level two hype train. Let's see if we can make it to level three. So now we have a recording of your DJ audio with your microphone. But say you want to take your recording of your audio and you want to upload it to Mixcloud just for people to listen to, it gets kind of annoying with all those shout outs there. So when you have a multi-track recording like this one, what you can do is... One time you're live right now on my stream, big shout out to Alex. Now we got rid of the microphone audio. Now I get it, there might be an easy way to do this simply by separating your DJ device, hitting record on Serato and having the microphone be on a separate device so that it never records. However, by having the microphone multi-tracked and having the option to mute it or not mute it after in post editing, you can leave some of the shout outs in or some of the announcements in and then omit the rest. So overall, the advantage here for the streaming DJ is you can process your audio without doing the processing on the computer, giving you more dynamics, getting louder without clipping, have the ability to record your audio and your microphone separately, and having the flexibility not only to mute the microphone, but be able to edit in whichever parts you want to keep. You can do it here or you can export it to an SD card and you could do the editing on your computer, whatever you want to do. Now, the one thing I really wish the R20 and the H8 can do, Zoom engineers, if you're listening, is I wish that instead of using another interface to stream, go into my output, I wish that in standalone multi-track recording mode, I can still output to the audio interface in stereo. That way, I can record on the R20 and still be able to stream. So Zoom, if you can make that happen for the R20 and the H8, I haven't tried any other products, so I can't speak for whether other devices can do that or not. But the R20 and the H8, I hope you're able to do simultaneous stereo audio interface output while in standalone multi-track mode because it's already a great device for recording and it does have the capability of being able to output as an audio interface. If it could only do both, at least just the stereo mix out, that would be awesome. But even if it can't, this is such a great tool for the live streaming DJ and also a great audio interface that gives you eight inputs for under $400 which you can use as your first time interface, if not your main interface, if you wanna get into music production. So DJs, live streamers, music producers, don't sleep on the R20. This gives you so much for such a little device. Look, it's like smaller than my SB3. <laughs> All right, product links are down below. If you wanna learn about turntable drumming, check out this video right here. And if you wanna learn how to do the Rev7's duck down effect on the DJM S11, check out this video over here. 
Really appreciate you for watching. Thanks. Take care. The Force is with you always.